Oh, I decided that I want you now because I realized that I need you in my life. You're a safe choice. No! <laughs> we got some things to address, some people to address in this Love is Blind Season 5. All right? Look, let's start with Johnny, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would you cut off your top two option, your, your number two, whatever, and you're not even 100% sure about your number one wanting you 100%. Like, what made that a smart move? Tell me, did he tell you that he wanted you 100%? Is he? Did he say that? I don't think so. I don't recall that. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? So, going in there, that's fine. I get it. You want to be honest. You want to be straightforward. You cut off your number two, Chris. Chris, the great guy, great guy, Chris. For Izzy, you know. And then you go to Izzy. <laughs> and then Izzy, he tells you, I don't want you. <laughs> okay, fair. Fair enough. So naturally, I get it. Like, if your number one cuts you off, then you're going to think about your number two. What's your other option? So you thought, <laughs> you thought you was going to walk right back up in there. And you did. You walked right back up in that pod with Chris and decided you wanted him back and told him that. You expressed it. You forgot to mention that your number one pick just dumped you. Okay? Like, you made it seem like, oh, I decided that I want you now because I realized that I need you in my life. You're a safe choice. No! <laughs> you didn't. Tell Chris that. Chris, she lied to you, bro. She lied. She forgot to mention the whole truth, okay? Chris, I'm glad you said no. Because I would have said no, too. I'm not about to be somebody's second option. Johnny. Shit. Johnny, I'm just telling you right now, you really fumbled the bag, all right? I'm not feeling you right now. And Chris isn't either. <laughs> all right. Aaliyah. You next, my girl. You are next. All right, you and Uche, I'm feeling y'all vibe or whatever. Y'all cool, y'all meshing. And then the conversation comes up about you cheating. And it's understandable. People cheat. They're, you know, it happens when you're younger, when you're 16, maybe, when you're 19. Not when you're in your mid-20s and not two years ago in your adult life, okay? <laughs> so Uche had a legit reason to look at you a little differently. I'm not messing with somebody who just cheated two years ago because honestly, I can't see that much growth in two years in your adult years. Now, I understand, like I said, in college, when you're a teenager, you got your little boyfriends and girlfriends, little cheating there. It, you learn from it. You see how it affects the other person. You grow from it and you never want to do it again. How did you cheat two years ago? And then you go cry and act like the victim? Uche had a legit point. Cheating in general is selfish. It's selfish because you want your cake and you're trying to eat it too, all right? So being selfish at what, 27 years old like that? Not wanting to hurt the other person's feelings? And nah, it doesn't work like that. You break up with the person, period. Cheating is unacceptable, okay? So I'm glad you were open about it, but you can't be crying about it because it's a legit thing that two years was just not long ago. And then Aaliyah, you went to go cry to Lydia, and Lydia starts to tell you, it's okay, she tries to console you, you know what I mean? She's consoling you, saying something about, he needs to take accountability, blah, blah, blah. What? What? Lydia, what are you talking about? What, what are we doing here? What are we doing? That scene just irritated me. I didn't even want to hear what Lydia had to say anymore after I heard a little bit of, of what she said and saw Aaliyah continuously crying like she was the victim. Nah, nah. Now let's address Lydia. Lydia. I'm not feeling you, my girl. Because after all of this, you know, the little ups and downs already between Aaliyah and Uche, you reveal that you guys knew each other, you and Uche knew each other before, which is fair, you know, nothing wrong with that. But then you and Aaliyah sit down. Aaliyah says, I don't want to know anything about it. Don't tell me anything. And then you say, oh, okay. And then you go on and talk about him. 
and sell her everything. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense, Lydia. But, Aaliyah, why did you just sit there and just nod? And then tell the camera when you're doing your little solo interview, I didn't want to hear that I was so mad. Nobody could tell. Nobody could tell you were mad, okay? You accepted all of the conversation that Lydia was giving. Oh, Lord. Lydia, you just messed up a lot of things for Aaliyah. Aaliyah, you need to take some accountability, all right? Just take some accountability. Roll with the punches. You told the truth to Uche two years ago. Really wasn't long ago. It's okay, though. It's okay. He still gave you a chance. Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. I, I don't know what to say about you, girl. <laughs> I already said enough about you. Whew. Those were the three people I had to address. And three women, by the way. Maybe in the next few episodes, there'll be something with the men. I don't know. But you never know. This, this season is already dramatic. Even last season was so dramatic. Like, what in the world? This one started way earlier with the drama. So, we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure the next episode is going to be pretty juicy. I can't wait till it drops, all right? But anyways, if you guys like this content, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and drop your thoughts down below, all right? Because this is some interesting stuff. I want to hear what other people have to say about this. Maybe I'm tripping, all right? But anyways, until next time, I hope you guys take care. Stay safe. I'm China. I will party, and I'm out.